Welcome to 7 Trumpets Prepper, and in part 3 of this wind turbine install series, we're going to show you how to wire your utility conduit into your structure now and start it onto the inside. So with that said, let's take a look at it now. Once you've completed your breaker box and disconnect switch for outside of your house at your wind turbine, you now can finish running your utility conduit up to your structure. Now what you'll want to do is make sure and run your wire through each consecutive piece of conduit and then glue the section at that point. Don't pre-glue your pipe sections because it's already hard enough to run your wire through the conduit, especially depending upon the size of wire you choose. So the best thing to do is run it through each section at a time and then glue it, as we've already done here prior, and then buried it for the disconnect box. Okay, now we're going to take a moment and look over the components that you will need to join together a union uh, within your piping because if you don't have enough uh, length of wire or if you have an extremely long span, you're going to need to join them together at some point. And what you'll need is a junction box uh, or a union box, and this one obviously has to be three quarter. Then you'll need some pins to join each other together, or you can do the twist wire cap. That's up to you. I'm actually going to join these together and put the liquid tape on them, um, such as this right here. Then you want the zip ties to zip tie that wire together that I'll show you in a minute how I'm gonna do that. And that will stop the wire from ever pulling back through the union. It's just a good fail safe. And then obviously we're gonna use the silicone to seal in the pins. So with that said, I'll get that wire together and I'll show you how it looks right before we put the lid on the union box. Now we had to stop temporarily because of a rainstorm. And now that that's passed, we can pick up here with the wiring. What we've done is we've put the joiner ends on them so that they will go together. And then what we'll do is we will silicone in behind the butts on each of these and so that when they connect together, they'll be sealed up very well and watertight. And then what we'll do is put the liquid uh, tape over that and that way they'll be sealed up very nicely. And then we will zip tie these wires together, as you'll see here shortly, that they'll be held tight together so that they can't never be pulled. You know, if we were pulling the wire for some reason or something, it never can be uh, disconnected uh, by force. So once we get that wired up and zip tied together and tucked down into this, I'll show you how it looks. Now here's the connectors together and we have the liquid tape put up on them. Now what we'll do is we'll let this dry for just a little bit. We'll put just a few little touch-ups on it and then this will be tucked down into there. The lid will be put on this. And then we will go forward and put our 90 degree angle into the ground, shift our pipe over into there. Remember to never do two sections into the ground at a time, uh, unless that you've got someone helping you, you don't want to bend your pipe, just take or break it. Uh, make sure to, when you do lay your pipe in, to always keep it to where that you can have one piece of conduit pipe laying out to continue your electrical cord going into it and it just makes things go very convenient and very quickly and you don't have no problems that way. So we'll let this dry and then we'll lid this over and we'll move forward with the installation. Okay, so we're about to close this up. Now one last protective feature that i done is I took and recycled where we had stripped some of that wire. Once we put the connectors together on it, I actually cut this down the middle and put some rubber or the liquid tape inside of this and then zip tie that over that to protect the connector and hold it together so this is really nicely secured now and so what we'll do now is screw this down and put this into the trench and continue forward now that we've finished running our conduit from our trench work up to the structure itself you will drill through and run the conduit pipe through on into the structure now we'll show you here in just a moment how to drill that out what we want to focus on at the moment, though, is a point of reference on drilling on the structure. So what you want to do is you want to find your point of reference, depending on what the exterior of your house is or the structure you're going into. Just find you a easy point of reference. I used for this structure the corner edge of this window. I come over 10 inches. I came down 24 inches, and that put me dead on center with my trench. So just find you an easy point of reference and that can also be defined on the inside and that will make things so much easier and you won't have to drill uh, multiple times because it's better to measure twice and drill once. Okay, now that we've reached the structure and we've measured outside in the trench down to where we need on the building, 
we've come inside and I've started the hole going outside for the utility pipe to come in. So what we're going to do now is finish drilling it out. Now at this portion in the build you want to make sure that the hole you drilled out matches with your trench line or you've got big problems. Measure twice, drill once. Now we've got this exactly at the bottom of the trench line, that's what we wanted. I, could, I couldn't be more pleased with this. Now I would encourage you to take your drill bit and just wobble it just a little bit to get the hole just a little bit oversized and we'll show you how to seal that back in here in just a little bit. But that just gives you a little flex room so you're not putting so much stress on your utility conduit getting it into the trench and getting it back into place to glue. Okay, now we're going to take this great stuff foam and we're going to put it into the cavity where the brick was and we're going to very carefully fill this up. Now, you can take after this is done and put some rubber sealant around this if you so choose to do and trim this foam up just a little bit and this will just help insulate it and it doesn't matter if you run it over just a little bit, you can scrape that clean later and I'm actually going to do that. I want to make sure that there's no leaks anywhere and that will pretty much resolve any situation you have with the, the creases in your block. So that concludes the wiring from the outside of your utility disconnect box to the inside of your structure. Now in part four of this series we're going to show you how to wire the utility conduit to your service panel inside now that we have it in the structure and do your off-grid power. So with that said, until we see you in part four of this series, I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.